For hole one, you are going to be using 60% slider with a plus 15% elevation. So again, you're going to be using 60% slider with your Goliath with a plus 15% elevation. You're gonna find the little sticky spot basically, and you're gonna be more toward the right of the sticky spot with your red almost touching the rough on the right. Two and a half backspin and one and a, literally a click of right spin. The more right spin you go, go, the more chances are you are going to miss it. So again, it's two and a half back with one and like 0.1 uh, right spin. Again, here is the Goliath, and I have not yet hit this with the Goliath 9, so I'm still working on that. I'm not sure why I'm missing it with the 9. But here again, I'm trying to find the sticky spot. Your red ring's gonna almost be touching the rough on the right hand side. You're gonna do two and a half backspin with 1.1 right spin. Adjust your shot with a plus 15% over adjustment at 60% slider. For hole two, you're going to be using either an APOC four, five, or six. With an APOC four, you're gonna use 4.2 top spin with max left spin. With an APOC five, six, you are only going to use four top spin. Do not go over four top spin. You're then gonna over adjust your shot with a plus 10% over adjustment. Your red ring is going to be touching the rough on the left on all the APOCs. So again, over adjust your shot with a plus 10% elevation. And then your ball curl is going to be about a ball and a half of curl to the left. Try not to overpower it. Make sure you do not overpower the shot, otherwise you, you will go long. By driving it that far, you can do the rough bump. So the, the rough bump is gonna play at max sniper with a minus 10% elevation. If you do not have a sniper 10, you will not be able to do this. Um, only if you have a power four ball. So if you do not have a sniper 10, use a power four ball. Make sure that when you do the top spin that you are going a good two squares past the hole when you um, line up your shot and you're just gonna to be to the right of the pin. Adjust your shot with a minus 10% elevation at max distance of your club. Here is the APOC 5 drive. You're going to do four top spin with max left spin. Your red ring will be touching the rough on the left. With an APOC 4, you will go 4.2 top spin with your red ring also touching the rough on the left. Over adjust your shot with a plus 10% elevation, and then you're going to do about a ball and a half of curl. Again, I was able to get into max sniper range to do the rough bump, and I did play this at a minus 10% elevation at maximum distance of my sniper. The only um, the only thing I did, because this was one of the first times I played it um, before I played the first shot, is I didn't use enough topspin. So here you can see I only did enough topspin to get to the hole, and it dies right before the hole. So make sure that your topspin and your ball guide is going through the hole about a good square and a half to two squares past the hole.
For hole three, if you have a Thor six or a Thor seven, we are doing the hook. With a Thor six, you are going to be using 15 rings. If you have a Thor seven, you're going to be using 17 rings. Here, I'm lining up my shot. I'm doing max top spin with one right spin. You want to do the same thing with a Thor six. You're kind of going to be having your blue ring by the rough. You're going to over adjust your shot at 0% elevation push up to max and then you're going to count your rings so here i went 17 rings and when i go to hit my shot i'm doing the very very tiniest bit of curl and we think that you might not even need the curl exactly because i even backed off the curl here so i would just do a tiny tiny amount of curl and then you're going to try and hit the full slice you do want a wind above seven miles an hour, we have figured out. So anything below seven miles an hour and it might not make it. So if you have a globe, I suggest you use it. For the second shot, I played this at 0% elevation. I'm just basically trying to get it into putting distance. So I, with no ball guide, it's, it's kind of hard to see where you could try and possibly hit the albatross on here. But for all means, try and give it a try. So I just did, um, I should have probably done about two bars of topspin and I could have had a good chance at it. But here I did play this at max distance with a 0% elevation. For hole four, I will be doing the sniper rough bump. You're gonna do max left spin with one back spin. You're gonna be offsetting your guide to the right hand side of the cup, basically, or the right hand side of the pin. And this is very wind dependent. The higher the wind, I think the more offset that you need to do. The lower the wind, the less offset. So here is a pretty much of a medium wind, and I'm offsetting just to the right of the pin. If you get above that, I would offset to the right of the cup. You will then play one to one, one win per ring, and after you do that, you will push up one ring. Here we have a lower wind and I did offset to the right of the pin. The only problem I had here is I hit a great ball, but I believe perfect was going to be in, but who knows these days. So again, you're going to offset to the right of the pin. On the lower wind, I should have probably offset just a little bit less, but I think it would have been okay. And then you're going to do one wind per ring. So 4.5, you're going to adjust 4.5 rings. After you adjust, you are going to push up one ring. For hole five, I am using the quarterback. You can use any quarterback of your choosing. You're gonna do max left spin with four top spin. You are then going to kind of find the little sticky spot as well. You will see it where your blue ring is just off the rough, your clear ring is into the rough, and you'll just jiggle it back and forth and you'll see the ball guy kicking to the left a little bit. After you find that spot, you're gonna adjust with a plus 10% over adjustment at maximum distance of your club, and then you will give it a slight curl um, where your left side of your ball is touching the outside of the ring. For the next shot, I am setting up on the green itself where the yellow ring is near the rough. 
So make sure that this is the landing spot that you are doing if you're going to use my slider percentages. Otherwise your slider will be off. I'm using about three bars of backspin with a little bit of left spin and that left spin might vary depending on where you are setting up. So again, my yellow ring is near the fringe on the back and I'm bouncing this on the green. At the end of this clip, I do have yardages and slider percentages for this position. Make sure that you do use this position, otherwise your slider will be off. You will also adjust this shot with a plus 10% over adjustment. For hole 6, if you have a Thor 6 or 7, you're going to be going to the right side. It seems to be a plays a lot easier and gives you a better chance at the albatross. So here I'm doing full topspin with a couple bars of right spin. I'm aiming down the middle and I'm going to over adjust my shot with a plus 10% over adjustment. Now when you go to take your shot, you do not need to use full overpower. Do a controlled overpower so that way you have more chances of hitting perfect. So here I went to full overpower and then I backed off my overpower. So this is a controlled overpower shot, about five rings of overpower. So do not do full overpower because you do not need it. It's easier as well to use a power four to set you up for a decent second shot. So use a power four ball if you have them. So I wasn't sure what I was going to need for my second shot, so here I bought the I brought the Kata. So the Kata shot um, here, I played it at mid distance with a plus 10% elevation, and basically aiming my ball guide at the hole. The only thing I did wrong here was I did a little bit too much backspin for the amount of headwind there is. So again, I played this at medium distance with a plus 10% over adjustment of my shot. So here I have the Thor 7 with a power 4 ball. I mimicked the Thor 6 topspin, so I only used Thor 6 topspin because I just wanted to see. Plus I was afraid that too much topspin was going to put me into the rough on the far side. So do all topspin and minus a bar and a half of topspin if you have a Thor 7. Two bars of right spin, aim down the middle, and then over adjust your shot with a plus 10% over adjustment. And then you're going to do a controlled overpower. This time I brought the sniper and you are pretty much in a max sniper uh, position, but very well doable. So I played this at max distance with a plus 10% over adjustment, but I took about 0.2 off my adjustment since I wasn't at full max. So if you are not at full max, I suggest taking a point or two away, depending on where you are at in your yardage. So again, I hit great left, it came in great left, so I believe that plus 10% is the elevation for the second shot. For hole 7 I'm using the APOC and I'm going to basically put my yellow um, in the middle and my red ring touching the rough on the left. You're going to do max left spin with three top spin. So my red ring's touching the rough on the left. I don't know what yardage I was at, but I'm pretty much just in the middle of that uh, curvature with your red ring touching the left. Over adjust your shot at max distance with a plus 10% over adjustment, and then you're gonna use baby left curl.
At 331, I know this plays with a sniper tent at a 20% slider with a minus 10% elevation. So I am playing this at minus 10% elevation. So here I'm trying to find the little sticky spot. Once I find it, then I'm gonna spin my ball to the hole. What I should have done was offset it um, to the left of the cup, basically. So it just came in to the right and I needed to offset it just a tad bit more. So again, I would actually more than likely do about one and a half backspin and a little bit less of the spin to the right so that it's offset and then adjust your shot with a minus 10% elevation at the slider of your club. For hole 8, there are two ways you can play it. You can play the Guardian Backsman shot or the Sniper, sniper Rough Bomb. Here is the Guardian Backsman shot. You're going to do max backspin with 1.8, right spin. If you go to the Pro Guides, it will give you the landing spots in a close-up view. You are going four dark rows over, and then you're going to be in the top square of the light green square in that dark row. After that, you're going to adjust your shot with a mi at min distance of your club with a plus 5% over adjustment. So Dale Appleby came up with the Sniper Rough Bump as well, and Morris, my friend here, has helped me uh, dial it in. He did 4.9 left spin with 2 top spin. He is playing this at min distance with a minus 10% elevation, and you do need to use a power 2 ball. He is basically lining up his ball guide so it's going to the left of the cup, just to the left of the cup. And your red ring is just going to be barely into the uh, sand bunker. So after you do that, you're going to be adjusting at min distance with a minus 10% elevation. For hole 9, you are going to be using either an APOC 4, 5, or 6. With an APOC 4, you're going to stay at max distance. With an APOC 5 or 6, you're going to go to the plus 14 yard mark with your red ring touching the rough on all APOCs. Max right spin with 3 top spin and 3 top spin only, otherwise you will go long. Over adjust your shot at a 0% elevation at maximum distance. For your curl, you're going to have the left side of the ball touching the inside of your ring. At 356, I know my Sniper 10 plays at a 60% slider with a minus 10% elevation. You want to make sure that you are setting up basically to the left a little bit of the hole and then you're gonna spin back to it because if you set up more right, it's going to kick your ball. It's a really weird um, landing position, but I want my blue, my blue uh, ring into the rough a little bit, about 4.2 backspin, uh, one bar of right spin, but here I didn't offset enough and it lipped out the hole. So I would suggest make sure that you aim your ball guide to the left of the cup.
Morris sent me his drop on a hold nine with his sniper nine. He drove at a yardage of 352, and at 352, he hit this shot at 54% slider of his club with a minus 10% elevation. So from 352, you can do plus or minus 2.5% per yard from there. So for every yard more or, or less, you do 2.5%. So again, at yardage 352, he hit this at 54% slider with a minus 10% elevation. And remember guys, hit perfect. Happy golfing guys, and good luck this weekend. The pro notes can be found in the description below and it will link you to the document.